Then they come up with a bill in the Senate that they know will never pass the House, so they can say, well, now it's the Republicans' fault. And they want to blame uh, President Trump for his actions. People say President Trump's inhumane. Tom Homan's inhumane. We're racist. When Trump had illegal immigration at a 40, 45 year low, how many women didn't get raped? How many children weren't lost? How many women and children weren't sex trafficked? How many fat pounds of fentanyl didn't get in the country to kill Americans? President Trump's policy saved lives. Bottom line, the data shows it. And this administration has destroyed the most secure border I've seen in my lifetime in 34 years doing this job. And that's just a stone cold fact. Every president I ever worked for took border security serious. Clinton and Obama took it serious. They took steps to secure the border because they understood, like every other president, you can't have strong national security if you don't have strong border security. But understand this, President Biden is the first president in the history of this nation who came in office and unsecured a border on purpose by signing over 90 executive orders, abolishing everything we did that were successful policies. And the result of that is over 1,700 aliens have died entering this country. Historic record. 340 no inspected terrorists off the terrorist watch list have been arrested at the southern border, almost twice many in the northern border. Historic record. 114,000 people have died from fentanyl overdoses that's coming across an open border. An historic record. Sex trafficking in women and children, 600% increase. Historic record. Over 450,000 children have crossed this border with the use of cartels. This administration has lost track of almost 100,000 of them. We know where they are. We found some in forced labor. We found some in sex trafficking. We found some in death bondage. On top of that, we got 1.9 million known gotaways. Not a guess. Known gotaways, 1.9. Border patrols arrested people from 181 different countries. Some of these countries are sponsors of terror. They've arrested 340 on the southern border. How many of that 1.9 came from a country sponsoring terror? If you think it's zero, you're wrong. At the same time he destroyed the border, he abolished ICE. I said for a long time, they're never going to abolish ICE. They'll never abolish a federal agency. Well, they didn't abolish the agency. They abolished their mission. And the latest victim of that, her name is Lakin Riley, a young woman who was murdered by an illegal alien in Georgia, a young lady who tried to call 911 because she was about to enter hell because she was being attacked by somebody. She was living in terror the last few minutes. You got to think of the way this young lady died, horrific murder, death. She tried to get help. She fought for her life, and she died. And she's one out of so many. I've met hundreds of angel moms and dads through my career, hundreds. And how did this administration fail Lake and Riley? First of all, the perpetrator should never have been in the country. He shouldn't have been in New York. He shouldn't have been in Georgia. He should have been in Mexico in the Remain in Mexico program that this administration abolished. Even if they didn't have the Remain in Mexico program, he should have been detained when he entered the country illegally without proper documentation. The law says you shall be detained. Not baby, shall. He was released. And then New York City was arrested for a crime. And, the, and you read the newspaper and say, well, New York City's uh, at fault because they're a sanctuary city. Well, that's part of the story. But the other part of the story, let's say they didn't release them. Based on the, this, this memorandum by Secretary Mayorkas on ICE priorities, ICE wouldn't have dropped a detainer on him anyways because he wasn't bad enough criminal for ICE to drop a detainer on him. Even though the law says there's no, there's no prerequisite to commit a crime after you commit the crime of illegal entry to be a target for enforcement. But Secretary Mayorkas has taken a lot of criminal aliens off, off the table for ICE. And how do I know that? By sheer numbers. 57% decrease in arrest of criminal aliens under this administration. 68% decrease in, in at-large arrest of criminal aliens. 44% decrease in detainer requests for criminal aliens. 67% decrease in deportations of criminal aliens. 55% decrease in immigration-related criminal convictions. Lake and Riley was just released, what was just the latest victim. There'll be another one next week. Matter of fact, there's been two since her. And when we leave for today, nothing's gonna change. This administration wants to secure the border. They've had three years to take action. Why do they wait now? Well, there must be an election coming up. Then they come up with a bill in the Senate that they know will never pass the House, so they can say, well, now it's the Republicans' fault. And they want to blame uh, President Trump for his actions. People say President Trump's inhumane. Tom Homan's inhumane. We're racist. When Trump had illegal immigration at a 40, 45 year low, how many women didn't get raped? How many children weren't lost? How many women and children weren't sex trafficked? How many pounds of fentanyl didn't get in the country to kill Americans? President Trump's policy saved lives. Bottom line, the data shows it. And this administration has destroyed the most secure border 
I've seen in my lifetime in 34 years doing this job. And that's just a stone cold fact. 